Do you feel that God punishes those who neglect worship of God? Definitely not. If we, in fact, God does not even desire our worship. God desires our love, which is a very different thing than desiring to be worshipped. Desiring to be worshipped is, is somebody who feels a lack generally within themselves and they want somebody else to support that lack by providing them with feelings that they wouldn't otherwise have. God doesn't do that with us. All God desires is a relationship with us and God desires that we have this relationship in a sincere, frank, open, truthful manner. God certainly does not desire our worship in the sense of desire all of these reverential emotions given to God. However, many people who come to know God do finish up giving those particular emotions to God because of, because of the honour they feel towards God. And that is a different matter of whether God desires it or whether the person desires to give it. God desires a close relationship with each one of her children very similar to the type of relationship that a parent desires with its children on earth. And so it's very important for us to understand that God doesn't demand that we worship God, but rather God desires a relationship with us based on love. So I don't believe God demands worship and therefore God does not want to punish the people who do not worship God. And uh, this whole concept that the people who do not worship God will be punished comes from a very human trait of punishing people who do not give honour. God is okay with the concept of giving us free will and that means that God is also accepting of the fact that we may not honour God or we may not worship God. God still makes the sun shine upon the righteous and the wicked and makes it rain upon the righteous and the wicked because God is not selective in the way in which God gives her gifts to all of her children. However, God recognises that there are some children who will receive God's gifts differently and who will desire to have the closer personal relationship with God and under those circumstances more love flows to that particular person because of their desire for it.